everyone, my name is Mariano Gonzalez Ramirez. Uh, I'm originally from Paraguay. I play this instrument since I was five, six years old till today. Thanks God, I do music for a living. And I'm very proud to introduce today one of the instruments considered a national instrument in Paraguay. Paraguayan harp is really uh, popular in my country. Uh, in my family, uh, my dad, my, my grandpa, he was, he was a harp builder and the brother also harpist and play my dad, my uncle, my, my cousin, everybody play the harp. And then until now we have my younger brother also excellent harpist, uh, Gabriel Gonzalez. He, we are more than 15 harpists in my family. I'm very happy to join this wonderful uh, around the world music series. This is fantastic to introduce our instrument, our music through this program. And thanks to the uh, extraordinary musician, multi-instrumentist, uh, David Badagnani. Thanks for this. Uh, opportunity. Uh, he is an ethnomusicologist at uh, the Standing Rock Cultural Arts in Ken, Ohio. Wonderful. Oh, what a pleasure. It's a great honor for me sharing with you my musical experience. Uh, I have selected a couple of iconic tunes from the greatest composer from Paraguay, Don Feris Pere Cardoso. Uh, he is considered the father of Paraguayan harp because he introduced so much uh, developing techniques and then not only the techniques, also part of the instruments, adding more strings and then developing for part of this head. The string came up from the, from the middle. This is the unique part, different, make big difference from other harps. So, we have applied so much accessories you know, from the guitar and this is part also I introduced from the Salvi harp levers. This is a lever I have applied uh, to the Paraguayan harp 40 years ago. And then uh, nowadays many people, many harpists using this style of mechanism. It's helped a lot to change the key one, one key to the other. Before we had to use in the tuner to key everything. It takes a time to change and then you know when you uh, when you are in group, a specific vocal group required to change key all the time. So the harp has a limitation for that. And then with this mechanism we have a lot more uh, possibilities. So uh, I'd like to introduce first specifically Don Felix Pericardo's tune. I will start from Llegada, meaning arrival, introducing the techniques, the tremolo. This is the tremolo we call. Okay, that's what we call the Paraguayan harp tremolo. Okay, please listen. Llegada.
Alright, with the next song it will be the same composer, uh, Felix Pérez Cardoso. This is the imitation of the noise of the steam train, the old fashioned way. Uh, those they used to be uh, a local commuter, uh, the train transporting milk to the neighboring town. Uh, by the way, Paraguay was the first country were built the railroad. And uh, there's not many people know about that. But this is true. <laughs> but Louis, we keep the same train until now. <laughs> this is a joke anyway. Okay, let, let's do this beautiful piece uh, called the Tren Lechero, uh, the milk train. Okay. I think I, I had to change the position because I, I had to be closer to the camera so you can appreciate what I'm doing with the finger way to the uh, tren lechero. <laughs> This 
So I dedicated to my father because he encouraged me to, to learn the harp if I want to keep it professionally. I had to practice and practice and practice. And I obeyed that uh, requirement. And then my father's name is Fortuoso. Fortuoso Gonzalez. And the short way he called Fortu. So that means uh, Cray Fortu is Mr. Fortu. <laughs> so please listen, you get it, my, my dear father. Cry for two. Vámonos. Well, here is another challenge for me. I like to play a classical guitar piece composed by Agustin Pio Barrios. He's the greatest composer from Paraguay. Uh, this tune called it Danza Paraguaya. Uh, it's a beautiful uh, classical guitar. I like guitar because I learned uh, a little bit and that I can do better in a harp than the guitar. <laughs> so I will blend the two versions. Uh, the first version is original arrangement for the guitar and then the second part is a uh, special arrangement for harp and we call it the popular style. So please listen, Danza Paraguaya by Agustin Pio Barrios. <laughs>
right, let's do more music. Uh, I changed my shirt because I want to share with you more authentic uh, music and then I included the costume too. This is called it, uh, Aopoi, it's our language, Guarani language, it's called Aopoi. It's a handmade, hand embroidered, normally we use for stage. And most of the Paraguayan artists uh, who perform around the world, they use this type of uh, costume. And now is the time to introduce the most famous Paraguayan harp music. Actually, this the compilation and arranger by Felix Pérez Cardoso, El Pájaro Campana. It, I don't know exactly the translation, literally is a pájaro, it's a bird, and uh, campana is a bell. Mm, singing like the bell sound is bird. This piece is played by a thousand artists around the world and became more popular in let's just say in the folk world and most of the harpists not only Paraguayan harpists play this piece and even maybe I can mention it too because it's worth it to 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 mention even the Rolling Stones use one part of this piece the Pajaro Campana on this recording and uh, well, that is another story. But the music itself is require more, more freedom, uh, like the birds, uh, like those birds flying on the sky, is free. So this music is looking like free. You can do anything. Uh, you uh, pretending to, to show your talent, or in some way, maybe, if you are virtuoso, so you can play uh, for big audience, especially. I'm always get with this music, stand innovation wherever I play. So I hope you will like it. The Pajaro Campana, the bird bell.
I'd like to continue playing the composition of Felipe Cardoso. This time he composed and dedicated this song to his daughter, uh, Angela Rosa. Uh, actually, she's my very good friend. Uh, I love this piece because he introduced so much techniques for his time. I believe this is really, it was very advanced uh, for the Paraguayan harp. Uh, I believe maybe he mastered different instruments, maybe he played piano or, or guitar, because uh, the way he harmonized and then uh, I believe this is the most beautiful piece uh, by Felipe Cardoso. Uh, there is a hundred, but this is the most advanced for me. I love this piece, Angela Rosa. Please listen. Thank you.
this is my new composition. I just composed recently uh, during this pandemic time uh, when we are apart from our family. Uh, of course, we feel um, sick. Uh, we are musicians working, uh, traveling most of the time. And uh, of course, our family is waiting and to return sometime and we have to keep distance because of the pandemic. Uh, this music is a kind of nostalgic uh, inspiration. The nostalgic part is always is in, inside us. So uh, I call this song is uh, in Spanish, Por fin llegó la hora. De volver a mis raíces. Y it could be, you know, finally it's time to return to my origin. This is a nostalgic music. Um, could be uh, also a homecoming music. Please listen my latest composition. Por fin llegó la hora de volver a mis raíces. Thank you. 
I like to introduce another Paraguayan rhythm uh, called Guarania. Uh, this rhythm was created by Maestro Jose Asuncion Flores in 1925. And well, according to the information, in 1928 he met one of the most prolific poet, uh, Manuel Ortiz Guerrero. Starting to work together and they create the most beautiful Guarani songs. And now I'd like to play my one of my favorite Guarani songs for you, uh, written by another greatest Paraguayan composer, uh, Maestro Florentin Jimenez. He's um, conductor and he has many many compositions more than 800 uh, songs um, popular song I mean the and folk and then like the Guarani also um, not only in Paraguayan popular songs he 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 make a lot different type of genre of music like a classical uh, symphonic works, he had many, and as well uh, opera. So he's one of the greatest composers, and I like very much one of these composition called uh, "Te sigo esperando." I'm still waiting for you. I hope you will like it. <music> Thank you. 
here are my experimental harps in uh, different models for different occasions. <laughs> okay, let's start with this. The left one is this is electroacoustic harp with all levers using this. I have adapted um, the Salvi harp levers. Uh, 40 years ago, I introduced this for the Paraguayan harp. And then uh, I know not many people know about that, but this is not really important. The thing is how to use. And then that gave me so much comfort to to play specific this electroacoustic is built with pickups each strings here this pickups made by my dear friend uh, David Cortier and then uh, it was fantastic for every time I use I feel like oh my goodness this thanks to this I have a big venue sometimes I use a, a large monitor so the acoustic world is always you suffer the feedback problem with this i have no problem about that here we go the black harp this is my own design harp my own uh, idea you can see it's only half a soundboard uh, in one way uh, is a use less material <laughs> Anyway, but this is a purpose to do a specific effect, sound effect, like the pitch bending part. This is here. So you can see the string goes through the scale, I mean, of the pickups area. And then I will play a song for you with this harp. And then here is my regular acoustic harp. This is not the using pickup nothing only vocal microphone sometimes is this because the best sound i can get is a natural sound so acoustic sound is forever this green harp is also designed and uh, inspiration for the paraguayan harp by my dear friend david cartier he says using the pedal on the head here and then of course all the pickups but this particularly work as MIDI controller. I have the pedal here, like it work with this pedal and the sound with the synthesizer sound, I can have a thousand sound different. So the white one is, I just paint right now. I just changed the color, it used to be red. And I will, this is specific, my, my last, uh, let's just say the latest model, this is, almost one inch and a half uh, wide but material is uh, for for a moment i use a steel and quite heavy but i need to replace this for the carbon fiber sometime and then this is a specific for traveler because i split in the middle and then i take it uh, easy to carry I mean by by plane getting less volume uh, to carry uh, by any cab so this is all my experimental bar this area is my experimental room <laughs> This is one of the, the innovative Paraguayan harp. It's just, uh, I have designed this specific the sound board is, uh, you can see only half, uh, like I talked about on the, the whole group 
far away and have a different model. Uh, we are always something uh, developing and then this is one of them. Uh, so uh, with this instrument is so much thing to do and I'm still, I need more time because you know I'm a musician, active musician, I'm traveling, performing uh, many places and then uh, I have not enough time to experiment with this uh, electric harp because this I can adjust everything whatever I have a pedal, uh, the effector like the guitar, electric guitar and the bass also have a lot, a lot of bass Actually, this harp is already exposing at the Musical Instrument Museum in Phoenix, Arizona. And that's a wonderful museum. And this this is only the duplicate harp. Uh, the original one is already there. And okay, so I want to introduce previously recorded already big stage, a big sound, so you can have a more. I'm here in my studio. I have no much uh, choice to show you in different action. Okay, please listen one of the Beatles songs and then after I will show you others and others uh, previously recorded. Okay, hope you enjoy. Instalando los micrófonos, cambiando de lugar y todo. Ya, ya, ya casi estoy en la última etapa. Ya me falta unos cuantos de más allá. Ok, let's go back to the black harp. This is a historical part of my uh, innovation for the Paraguayan harp. Uh, this harp specifically is already of the museum, Arizona Museum, the MIM, the Musical Instrument Museum, is already there. So this is only a copy of uh, that original harp model. Uh, 
is a kind of uh, futurist instrument. I will show you how to play this.
Ahora sí, parece más tranquilo. Eh... Yo no sé qué es más.
谢谢。